Hey guys, I'm going to make a quick recording um, at the request of Rick D on my uh, YouTube channel who um, requested uh, if I could show folks uh, how to uh, get some of the studies uh, onto, I think, my number bar chart. He may have just been uh, asking in general how to get some of, of these studies to work for like uh, regular trading hours and Globex hour midpoints and stuff like that. So I'll show that real quick too. Uh, but generally, I just want to show you guys um, how this is achieved in Sierra chart, which is the platform I'm using. So again, this only applies to Sierra chart, obviously. Um, uh, so without further ado, let me get into it here. So uh, this, th how you would get a, a study onto a chart that say is like not time-based or has restrictions based on the chart settings is by using the study price overlay um, and then pointing that study back to another chart that has the study you want on the chart you're trying to add the study for right so um, if you look down here at my open charts I have charts that are called like reference or REF, RTH only, uh, reference RTH cash close, reference ETH, which is what I call Globex, uh, ETH 6 p.m. Eastern open, right? These are my reference charts. So I add studies here uh, that I want to then add just a line or something, uh, you know, with, uh, you know, uh, I guess the value and then be able to modify that onto, so just to overlay it onto a chart where I normally couldn't add that um, easily. So, or, or couldn't because the chart settings maybe for that chart, for the chart I'm using, maybe they're not time-based settings or maybe the uh, chart uh, settings are the open and close aren't what I want to be referencing in the study that I would need to directly add to the chart. Uh, would then reference that time so you know and then there's not a setting for that time so you know you can't uh, use the study directly on the chart so for most of it if I have a study uh, on another chart I just use the study price overlay function so I'll show you how to do that um, you know go into your studies uh, I just have it as a shortcut menu um, and you you know find this study price overlay Okay, go ahead and add it. Um, you reference the chart. Well, first of all, you select the chart region that you want it to display on. This would be chart region one, okay? Uh, do you want to draw it underneath the main price graph, right? So I've got the number bar setting, the number bar steady set as my main price graph. So I would just say, yeah, I want it, like, I want it to be underneath, maybe not. I don't want the study to uh, go over the top of these numbers and um, you know maybe cover them up or something so yeah draw study underneath main price graph I like to short name it so it's easy to see um, we'll call it 10 SMA uh, study we can call it price overlay okay and then the study to overlay we're referencing now here in this first uh, I guess column or field we're referencing the chart that we want to overlay the study from so coming up here right and I know that it's my five minute chart I know it's number 14 because I've done this enough my bar chart has the 10 SMA five minute um, uh, time frame that I want to overlay on say a point in figure which is not time uh, frame based right it's rotation based so all right go ahead and select that and then this, whichever one you select, it's going to populate the studies that are part of that chart, right? So let's go find the 10 estimate. There it is. Okay. And then a lot of this, you could just leave the same. And then if you want to change how it looks, how the study looks on this number bar chart, for example, uh, you need to go uh, change these to uh, no. Okay. So we can hit apply first and then modify what it saves from the original study as far as a style and work from there if you do like some of what uh, the styles are set to from the original. So, okay, so this is where you would change it. But anyway, we'll go ahead and apply this. Okay, 
it'll populate the subgraph style fields, right? And um, get rid of that. I don't like verbiage up here. Um, right. So everything is yes. So if I wanted to call this like I don't know 200 SMA or custom SMA, right? And then hit apply, it's going to get rid of that name because this is set to yes. Okay. And it would not display it. So let's see. Oh, it does display it. Well, I look like a jackass. What am I doing? Uh, da, 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 da. Oh, always use short name from studies. Okay, so if that was set to yes, then it would overrun it. So okay, so I'm not right, not right in that. Um, that applies to the styles here, like draw style, line style, name. Right. So that's what this correlates to. Uh, use name value related so that's here name and value so if you wanted to be able to modify that in this chart you would you know select no here so anyway and then th it would once you hit apply and everything it would show up here okay so as far as well let's remove this here before I forget it's there so before I forget uh, Rick D was asking specifically about like RTH uh, midpoints and stuff. So I use that here. So I call it RTH uh, half back, or you can call it mid, or whatever you want to call it. Okay. So if you look at this um, chart, right, the chart settings, um, where are you? Is from 6:30 to 13:59. I'm using 24-hour, uh, you know, uh, time. And then so 6:30 is uh, the open here on the uh, Pacific Standard Time, West Coast uh, in the United States. Uh, and so that's the RTH open, and this is what I want the close to be. So this is what I'm referencing. It's not the cash close, it's, uh, you know, it's like the futures uh, close at uh, 15 after the cash close, right? So now I, on this chart, I have this study here, uh, period, OHLC variable, um, and volume value area lines, but Anyway, this is what I'm using. I'm using this study here, okay? And then uh, for this one here, the high-low average, right? It's high, low, uh, what, divided by two, I think is the calculation. Uh, but anyway, that's the one I'm using for the halfback, right? So, you know, you can reference any of these, but if you look here, see it's RTH halfback. And so when I'm at doing the study price, um, overlay on the chart that I want to add something to, you've got to make this reference chart if the chart you're using will not easily, um, be, again for all the reasons I stated earlier with the chart settings and stuff, won't allow you to um, add the study directly. So this is a way to reference uh, certain so I, certain things like so like the RTH VPOC and stuff like that. I, I'm kind of anal when it comes to uh, things looking a certain way, right? I'll, I want to be able to separate even on my volume profile, the e, the, the Globex point of control, the mid points. So I'm referencing back all of these charts, like the ETH mid uh, 3 p.m. Shout out to uh, Capture Theta, what is it, 135. Um, he uses uh, a different time to calculate his Globex mid. So it's he, you know, he starts his at, at my time, 3 p.m., uh, 6 p.m. Eastern, to calculate his uh, midpoints for the uh, Globex session. So I started looking at that because I've just never used that. And I want to see, oh, well, is there any edge for bounces and stuff? You know, he, midpoint bounces and whatnot. Um, it's a thing. So, um, you know, I have a chart to reference that. It's called the reference ETH 6 p.m. Eastern Open. Uh, chart and on that chart I've got the period OHLC variable period study and if you look at it um, here it is I call it the ETH halfback and of course I don't use this name in uh, the study overlay that I overlay it to the chart I want I, ca I call it something else I call it the ETH mid whatever 3 p.m. whatever I called it um, so anyway, that is how generally, 
how you do it. Um, if I were to go through each one of these, I'd be here for hours because um, as you can see on my footprint, if you go into the studies, how many studies do I have here to achieve everything I want? A lot. Okay. So you'll have to think about it a little bit. It's a head scratcher for some people. Uh, but just go through and start adding each one. Um, you know, I, I did have to separate all of these out. RTH volume VVP. Well, what do you think that reference is? Reference RTH only. And I have the volume by price study on there. And this references that, I think. Um, or I might actually have it pointed to my market profile, which points to this one, the reference RTH only. I'm not sure. That might be, yeah, I don't think it's a circular reference. You don't want to do circular references in Sierra chart. That's not good. It takes up too much uh, computer processing power, just constantly refreshes charts and stuff. So don't want to do that. Um, you can Google uh, Sierra chart and circular references for charts and Sierra chart will have a place uh, on their forum somewhere where they explain how not to do that. <laughs> so anyway, that's important when you're, especially when you're using uh, steady price overlays. But uh, anyway, that is how it is done, my friends. Um, let's see, how long did it take me I'm trying to talk about this as fast? Ah, under 12 minutes. Hope that is useful. Have a great weekend.